What can I say guys? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Techland support Dying Light more than any other game I've ever known. Uh, not just in the form of regular updates and events, but dropping brand new DLC on us when we're not expecting it as well. So yeah, to start October we get Volcan Combat Armor Bundle. Uh, it is a paid DLC, you can purchase it straight from the home screen, but it was only £2.50 in the UK, so I think like $3 in the US it's going to be. And I downloaded it as soon as I got in, of course. Um, we're going to talk about everything that comes with it, starting with the Volcan Combat Sword. However, it kind of falls at the first hurdle, because I used uh, a fairly decent dark machete uh, as a base weapon, but then couldn't believe that it actually minused 251 damage points off of it. Which obviously rendered it pretty useless when compared to, you know, some of my gold weapons. I mean, you shouldn't have to use three or four, possibly even five slashes to try and dismember a zombie. And I'm so glad I didn't use a gold weapon as a base weapon, because it would have just minused it by half or maybe even a two-thirds. Um, yeah, bit of a disappointment, the sword. So let's get on with the combat assault rifle. Looks sweet, and it comes with the uh, reflex sights, which is really nice. And apparently, it's got a larger clip, so you know you won't run out quite so quickly. And this one, I was more impressed with. Um, it's pretty accurate. It does obliterate a head with a single shot, which is what you need when it comes to something like this. Uh, after all, the whole name of the game is killing zombies. <laughs> Love that dying animation there. And yeah, it does look pretty badass. Um, yeah, so I'm pleased with that one. So the Volcan Combat Pistol, is this one going to be any good? Um, I did like it. Uh, every time you tap the trigger once it will fire in bursts of three bullets. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice, but it's not suppressed like the rifle, therefore it will actually attract the virals unfortunately. And uh, the fact that it fires in bursts I found made it slightly less accurate. And it's not particularly damaging either. Uh, so it's a nice thing, um, it's going to take some practice to get used to and uh, it wouldn't be my weapon of choice out of the three that we get with this battle pack. So the outfit with this DLC is the Volcan Combat Armour. It does look really mean. Um, I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, so obviously it's going to be under your DLC outfits. And uh, let's just change into it there and we'll have a proper look at Crane wearing it. So there he is on our home screen. We'll just turn him around like I normally do. And yeah, again, forgive the pipe. I wish they'd do something about that. He looks really, really good. I'm pleased with that outfit. That's, that's snazzy. And let's face it, I've spent £2.50 on a lot worse in the past, so I'm happy with this one. And now on to the buggy. Uh, so let's have a look at the new paint job. Looks a bit neon, but in actual fact it is pretty much just uh, a very bright yellow. Now I don't have any spiky bumpers or flood lamps or anything that makes it look even cooler. Mine's pretty basic, but you can see that uh, with this new DLC it's going to brighten things up a bit. It's definitely better than what I had. I was quite pleased with it to be honest. And it definitely brightens things up inside the cockpit as well. It's uh, it's much less bland to look at, and uh, yeah, I've you know never really needed much of an excuse to jump in the buggy and mow down a few zombies. Uh, it's one of the best parts of the following DLC. Uh, if you don't have that, by the way, you should check it out. It's bloody awesome, and uh, you won't get the full benefit out of this DLC otherwise. So uh, yeah, um, am I pleased with this DLC? Uh, I have to say. Not entirely. The sword is a bit of a letdown. I've never known a blueprint detract from the uh, the base weapon's damage points. You know, that's just that's crazy. I don't know if that's a bug or you know something they can fix. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me uh, because it just completely disregards the strength of your base weapon. Aside from that, um, it's pretty much my only gripe. I did enjoy the uh, the rifle. Uh, the pistol is a nice weapon, although I probably won't be using it very often to be fair. And uh, really it's all about the buggy, the outfit and the rifle for me, I have to say. Again, £2.50, what am I going to spend that on? It's, it's nothing. So overall I'm happy. Uh, there's a couple of problems with it. It's not perfect, but Hey, it's new DLC after five years, you know, uh, this game again keeps on giving. So uh, yeah, I hope you like this video and uh, if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe, I do appreciate it and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.